the passing and scoring prime. Jones gets the try! Its booming popularity is due mostly to this woman. Come here, For five years, Tina Turner has been the centerpiece of Rugby League's promotion. Hired to boost the game's attendance, lift its TV ratings, and make it more appealing to women. It was the brainchild of Sydney advertising man, Jim Walpole. I said, we've got to get Tina Turner to do this. He recalls first pitching the idea to the game's officials. I think everybody there thought, well, this is not going to happen anyway. And uh, Jim's a bit crazy, you know, he gets his odd ideas every now and again. But Walpole persisted, so, uh, found that Turner's manager was a rugby league-loving expatriate Australian. The deal was done, and Tina has been advertising the game ever since. Walpole's pairing of this odd couple, Turner and rugby league, has become a marriage made in promotional heaven. Since the Tina Turner commercial started in 1989, attendance at rugby league games has more than doubled. Television ratings have soared, and females have embraced the game in large numbers. I thought it would work. I had no idea it would work as well as this. I could say that, look, we, we rationalised all this before it happened and uh, we knew exactly what it would do to people's emotions, but uh, it just seemed to fit for some reason and there was nothing scientific about this at all. We didn't research it. Half a decade on, Jim Walpole's crazy idea has hit its mark big. John Reidler for CNN, Sydney, Australia.